Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So tonight we looked at uh, applications of Bernoulli equations together with uh, mass conservation uh, equations. So in these questions, water flows out of a large tank through a pipe of diameter 10 cm as shown in the above diagram. So we have a large tank and then we have pipe at the bottom of the tank being arranged as shown in this diagram. The diameter of the pipe is constant and is equal to 10 cm. At point C, there is a venturi with diameter 8 cm. So at point C here, the pipe is connected uh, to a venturi and the throat diameter is 8 cm. So calculate the exit velocity at point D. So we asked to calculate the velocity at point D here where the pipe discharge to atmosphere and the velocity at the venturi throat. So the velocity at the venturi throat, which is at point C here. And then determine which of the points E, B or C has the lowest pressure. So we are asked to determine which of these points, either E, B or C has the lowest pressure. And then the question also says that the flow can be assumed to be irrotational, meaning that uh, there is no losses um, along the flow. First of all, we draw the schematic diagram. So this is the schematic diagram. So all the information are given on this diagram. So the first things that we ask to find out is the velocity at point D. So find velocity at point D. Okay, the question says that the flow can be assumed to be irrotational. If the flow is irrotational, so that means that we can readily apply Bernoulli equations. So if I apply Bernoulli equations from A to D, okay? So I can write VA plus half rho VA squared plus rho GZA. This must be equal to BD plus half rho VD squared plus rho GZD. Okay. Point A and point D are open to atmosphere. So it means that VA is equal to VD and is equal to VAPM. PA is equal to PD, actually equal to PAPM. And then the velocity at A is also can be assumed to be uh, negligible because the size of the tank is large. So VA is almost zero because this is actually what we call reservoir conditions. So if we substitute this into the equations, so we have PA cancel with PD and then VA is actually equal to zero, so then we can readily obtain the expression for VD. So we have half rho VD squared is equal to rho G ZA minus ZD. So rho will cancel, so we can get the expression for VD, which is square root of 2 g z a minus z d. So now, so that's equal to 2 9.81. What is z a minus z d? So from here to here is 5, and from here to here is 2. So z a minus z d is equal to 5 plus 2, which is 7. So that gives me v d equal to 11.72 meter per second. Okay. Next, we asked to find the velocity at point C, right? So we can apply mass conservation equation from C to D. So if I apply now mass conservation equation to the exact steady flow mass conservation equations, so I can write m dot C is equal to m dot D, m dot C is equal to m dot D. So I have rho Vc 
a c is equal to rho v d a d so i can readily obtain so rho will cancel so i can obtain expression for v c is just equal to v d a d over a c which is actually equal to v c the diameter of, of phi d is equal to diameter of the pi so d1 over d2 where d1 is the diameter of the pi and d2 is the diameter of the venturi throat square so that gives me 11.72 multiplied by 0 0.1 over 0 0.08 square that gives me bc is equal to 18.31 meter per second in the next part of the questions we are asked to determine which of e b or c has the lowest pressure so we are asked to determine which of e b or c has the lowest pressure so now if i apply bernoulli equations from e to d what will i get i can write P e plus half rho P e square plus rho g z e must be equal to P d plus half rho V d square plus rho g z d. P d is actually equal to P a t m because it's open to atmosphere. Right? V d is already known. So we can obtain the expression for PE gauge, which is actually equal to PE minus PATM, and that will be equal to half rho VD squared minus VE squared plus rho G ZD minus ZE, right? So now if I apply steady flow mass conservation equations from e to d so i can write m dot e is equal to m dot d right so which implies that rho v e a e is equal to rho v d a d right but we know that a e is actually equal to a d right because the pipe diameter is the same right so because of that, rho will cancel, this will cancel. So basically, the velocity at point E and point D are the same. So that means that we can now substitute into this equation. So we have now PE gauge is actually equal to rho G ZD minus ZE. Right. So we can write. So basically, that's 10 to the 3, 9.81. The ZD minus ZE. So ZD minus ZE is actually this distance, the vertical distance between E and D. So it's equal to 4. But ZD is lower than ZE. So it's negative 4. So we obtain now the gauge pressure at E, which is equal to minus 39.81. 24 kPa or we can also say PE vacuum is actually equal to 39.24 kPa so that gives us the pressure at point E at this point here next let's do the same thing for point B so now if I apply Bernoulli equations from point B to point D so again if I rewrite P B plus half rho V B squared plus rho G Z B must be equal to P D plus half rho V D squared plus rho G Z D. Right. So again, P D is actually equal to P A T M. And then again, since the diameter of the pipe are the same so basically we have vb is actually equal to vd so again we can write pb gauge 
is actually equal to rho g z d minus z b right so z d minus z b so vertical distance from d to b will be 2 plus 6 so 8 so this is equal to 10 to the power of 3 9.81 and then this is minus 8 so we get the value for uh, the gauge pressure at B, which is minus 78.48 kilopascal, or in terms of vacuum pressure, PB vacuum is actually equal to 78.48 kPa vacuum. So now we have obtained the pressure at point E and pressure at point B. So the the last one that we need to determine is pressure at point C. So we can apply Bernoulli equations. So apply Bernoulli equations from now from C to D. Right. So we have Vc plus half rho Vc square plus rho G Z C. This must be equal to Pd plus half rho vd squared plus rho g zd so again we can obtain pc gauge which will be equal to half rho vd squared minus vc squared plus rho g zd minus zc pc gauge is basically pc minus pd where pd is equal to p a p n right so now we have already calculated the value for VD and VC. So we just need to substitute the value. So it's half 10 to the 3. VD is 11.72 squared. And then VC, we have already calculated the area is 18.31 squared plus rho G. So now ZD minus ZC. ZD minus ZC is minus 4 minus 4 so that gives us minus 138.19 kPa or VC vacuum is 138.19 kPa vacuum right so now we have obtained all the three pressure so just now we obtain PE PE is equal to 39.24 kPa vacuum PB is equal to 78.48 kPa vacuum and then PC is 138.19 kPa vacuum so the lowest pressure is actually at point C so this means that the lowest pressure is at point C.